Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and slip this bad boy on. Alright. Get into the game. So I think I should have the audio actually set up this time on like the last stream where we went, what was it, four hours in? Without uh, in-game audio? You know, being uh, real smart. Um, something different I'm also trying this time. Uh, after that last, uh, what was it, six and a half hour bender we did? Uh, I realized my uh, left foot, like right in front of the heel, like a muscle right there in the arch, uh, whenever I extend my leg a certain way, or like if I land on it specifically, uh, there's a little bit of pain there. So um, I'm like, I, I have like a hardwood floor. So what I'm doing now is I'm wearing some shoes and I'm going to try that out for a stream of this, see how that goes. Um, I might invest in also getting a mat too, maybe. I, I don't know. I've, I've got some pretty comfortable shoes, so I'm hoping that these will do enough that it, that won't really be necessary, but we'll, we'll just see. Why are you on the floor? You're hungry. I guess we'll need a little bit of this. Thirsty. Okay. Good there now. Uh, do I got everything I need for when I head out here in a minute? Looks to be the case. Everything's good there. That's good there. Shotgun? Why are you on the ground? Back on the shoulder. Okay. I think we're good. Yeah. I think we're good. Okay. So the plan for today, I looked it up. Just so I can get an idea of roughly how many more missions we've got going for us and how many more streams we have in this initial playthrough. Uh, apparently we have one more mission for top priority and then the, we do our last mission which is go to Pichorsh the Castle. So... I guess depending on how quickly we can get this next top priority mission done, which I don't think we have right now, do we? No, we don't have it right now. So, depending on how quickly we can get this next mission done, we might try and knock out the rest of the game tonight, or we might save it for, like, a Thursday stream. Uh, we'll see. But, we are burning... Well, it's not daylight for me, it's, it's night light. We're burning time, just sitting here doing nothing. So we're gonna go ahead and figure out what, uh, what missions we want to do. And then get a move on. Uh, we could do this one. It's right when we enter Code of Omei. Marauder. Ring bracelet of a dead explorer. Well, that's like right where we gotta go, so sure. I'll do that. Operation cleanup. So the Provome route. So that would be like right outside. So we have to go, we can go either one of those ways and end up at M1, so maybe we ignore that. It's only $480 too. I don't know if it can be necessarily worth the price of ammo we spend. I also don't feel like doing a uh, Frank West mission. So we can also pick up the sample thing. So we've got like a, just a group right here to knock out. So our route will be going to Pervome. Come up to M2, knock out M, uh, part 1 of M1, M3, M4, head up to Bolotki here, that'll put us right here. Come over, finish M1, and then we'll ride our way back out to the facility that way. Um, given that these are the earlier areas too, we shouldn't have, hopefully, oh. I don't know how this start's supposed to work. Okay, that was decent enough. Um. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Since it's like uh, we're only going through Purvome and Bolotki, I don't think we're going to have to worry about getting our ass blasted here. So we should be able to knock these out, get some quick money, hopefully have the next top priority mission show up, and then go check that out. And then depending on how quickly we can do that, that will determine if we try and beat the game tonight. Let's also tuck that in there. Doesn't hurt to have a regen on us. And with that, I think we're good to get moving. Like I said, no reason to really piss about. Not like, oh, hold up a sec. One thing I do need to check. 
Okay, that'll last. These will both last, at least this mission. We might need to re-up before we go to Petrosh Castle, but that'll be a little bit from now, so let's go ahead and just get moving. Da -da 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 -da. So, it's honestly been a while since we've went through this entrance. Usually we're going through either Brodki or, um, Kolkos? Is that the one on the left? Eh, whatever. Uh, nobody up there shooting at us. We've got a day, 21 hours, till the tide. Should be more than enough time to get everything we need to done here. Especially if you don't, like, bother with going to, like, loot, uh, certain places. This is... nah. There's not gonna be anything of worth up there for us, honestly. Right, let's go ahead and get the, uh, navigation materials out here. So, I'm thinking up here is where our neon's gonna be. It should be a quick check. Uh, yep, we got something on the radar here. It's there. I'm gonna squeeze right through here. Smoke grenade. Eventually we'll use one of those and see how useful they are. Looks like it's on the other side of this wood pile, which might be a little annoying to get to. Uh, if we go through here, that's not too good. and then we just scoot around this, should be able to just move right in here. Yep, there we go. So is this is, I think this is steps, right? We're right on top of another one. And this is our neon. So we're good on that now. Real quick like. Now we just gotta keep heading that direction. So M1, M3, those are gonna be... I think those are just... In and out. And Marauder, Marauder, basic. Okay, yeah, so that's gonna be in an uh, anomaly zone. I think it's gonna be the gas anomaly. If I remember correctly. How big are you? Not big enough. Well, right here we might as well check out this little crate. Wouldn't hurt. Alright, you little bastard. What you got? Huh. Pretty useful. These two things themselves are worth over $400. Right, like that. This is kind of whatever, but... The other two things we can definitely make use of, so... Happy about that. Mm. Probably gonna need to kill this thing. Oh, no, wrong pocket. Oh, okay. Do I not have a spec on life? Guess not. Might be easier to go ahead and. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, that's, uh. Yeah, we don't have a knife on us. We're running out of sprint, so let's just go ahead and do that. I guess I did forget a spat nose. Alright. Well, we'll just have to re-up on that when we get back. Those boys heard all that. Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with them. Okay. Actually. Eh, yeah. Because we need the knife in the other hand. Easy enough. Let's go ahead and load this up real quick. In these areas, we're tending to use more M9 ammo than anything else, so... Just having it ready to go. Good idea. Okay. Keep moving. I was reading that uh, I think you can turn the haptic like feedback stuff off for um, the Reverb G2 controllers, which I really should have looked at doing before stream here because I'm sure you can hear it. Like if I 
Yeah, like if I brush over like a place where it is, it's supposed to like let you know that you're reaching for it. But like at this point, I'm, I'm kind of already know where to reach if I need to grab something. Other than my mags, you know, because they're really closely situated. And I think more often than not, it doesn't really tell me anything. It just makes, uh, makes a really loud noise. Or not a really loud noise, a loud enough noise that it picks up on the mic. What time is it for you? Uh, right now, it should be, I think about, what, we're 12 minutes in the stream. I started at like 10.48, something like that, so... 11? 11 p.m., I think? Without, like, actually looking, it should be around there. Let's see here, what do we got going? Just the fragment over there, it looks like. And I think I can go right down here without any issue. Fragment's far enough away, I don't think we have to actually worry about it. Streaming to actual midnight. Yeah, uh, the thing with me is... Uh, I work remotely, and the team I work for is... Oh shit, what the fuck? Where is that coming from? Holy shit, what is up with... Okay. What the fuck? Um... Yeah, as I was saying, uh, the team I work for is a West Coast team, so... I'm usually starting my work day at, like, noon. Or a little bit earlier sometimes if they need to have a meeting or something, but... Like, nighttime works perfectly for me. I, like, I'm typically more of a night owl anyways. So... I'm gonna go to sleep now. Alright. We'll take care then. Hope you have a good rest. How am I supposed to take care of you fuckers? Ah, uh, fuck it, I guess we'll just use the sniper rifle. No reason not to. Okay, that guy's dead. What about the rest of you? How am I gonna... Can I pen this, maybe? Also, where is that slat that I'm seeing? Oh, is this it? Eh, this feels like a waste of ammo. Alright, um... We do have to throw on the mask if we don't want to get gassed here, so... Thought I heard something. Didn't get him before he smacked us, but... We did get him. Alright. Hmm. Alright. Let's see. Do I have to take off? Yeah, we're gonna have to take off the helmet for this part. Which we can manage. He is trying to pop us through there, so I wonder if... What the fuck? He's trying to pen us through there, so... Load a new mag, we'll promote that in a minute. We need to just go ahead and get up towards where we can actually land some shots on them, so. Head through here. Ow, okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, you've got a good angle on me from there. Son of a bitch. can go through right here, it looks like, so... Let's get to this wall. Maybe we'll have uh, an angle on him. Got a rift up ahead. Let's go ahead and deal with it.
quick book. Don't see anything on that guy, so I'm not gonna bother. Great. <laughs> you little bastard. Where'd the little guy go? Die. Great. Now is this gunman? Yep. I think I heard two sets of footsteps though. If there were two sets, they're not close enough to be of concern. So let's go ahead and get these loaded back up. Or at least get that loaded up enough that that works. Oh, geez, this is rough. Hmm. Maybe if we get up there, we can get some shots in that hut there. Being close while there's that SMG guy, that auto rifle is gonna fucking kill us real quick, like. So let's see if this works. Sometimes it feels like uh, we're getting blocked on our shots, which kind of sucks. Alright, let's actually go in here now. I think we took care of most of the gunmen. Uh, there was like one little guy though, last I remember, so we're gonna have this right here ready to go in that instance. Something in here too. Wasn't getting a reading at first, but now we are. Pretty good find. Worth a decent bit. Pardon? Oh no, there is a uh, police officer still up there, huh? Dead now. One shot, one kill. That's what we like to see. I don't remember killing you. But, you know, it makes my life easier, so I won't complain. Nice watch. Mine's cooler, though. I think this is supposed to be like the uh, older model for the setup they had, which is interesting. Alright, it takes care of that. We also got artifact like right here. There we go. That's the mission artifact, so we should be all good here now, right? I think it only shows that M1 there because we still have to do this part. We gotta go into the facility now. Well, actually, we do. We do have one more artifact we can grab? Just gotta figure out where specifically it is. Oh god. Uh, this isn't good. 
Hmm. Okay, we got back in. There we go. That's more what I want. So it's like over there, it looks like. Oh no, right there. Okay. Walk on around and get to it then. Ooh. The fuck is your vision right now? It's like you're blind in one eye. Uh, it's because I'm wearing a gas mask, uh, Jeremy. Uh, if you haven't noticed, there are uh, fart clouds everywhere. And, uh, in yeah, like that. Big fart cloud. Uh, if I inhale that, I will die. Uh, so we have to put up with the fact that uh, I'm Patchy the Pirate for a little bit. But don't worry, once I get this artifact and I get out of here, uh, you'll just have to put up with me having a little helmet on my head. Where is it? Oh, right there. And now we can leave. Oop, almost just fell. Alright, and off with the mask. On with the helmet. And there we go. Yeah, no, some big meaty braps coming out of that hole. Um, we don't want any of it. <coughs> I hate it when I cough and I don't actually clear my throat. It's the absolute worst. Okay, what do we need? What do we need to do here again? So this is M4. Sample. Okay, so there's just like a little uh, little canister up front here. Let's go ahead and cut the light on and make it just a bit brighter. Yeah, right here. Bada bing, bada bang. Mission complete. Alright, so now we need to make a quick run to Bolotki. And we'll be done. Actually, I think that guy says something I really don't want to hear him speak. Okay. Here. Anything outside? Mm, no, I don't think so. Right, so coming out of the facility, if we follow the road right, that leads us to Belotki. Alternatively, we could just head to the trail uh, train yard over there and head up to Belotki that way. We'll see. If I spot anything going right, uh, we'll probably go train yard and see if we can just blitz by anything over there. But uh, if it looks like a clear path, I I'll probably just hook it right. I also got an artifact over here. Mm, looks like it's on the other side there. I think we'd be having an easier time going here and around this way. Yeah. There we go. Other steps. Fortunately, those things aren't worth shit, so... Whoa! And? There we go. Alright. Some, like, whenever I underhand sometimes, it just decides we're sending this to space. Yeah, absolutely into orbit. Alright. Gotta navigate our ass around here. Can I weave through that? I bet I can. Oh, there was a uh, ooh. ooh, that was not good. <laughs> that was, as the kids say, very bad. Well then, um, let's just go ahead and tuck you in here and then grab the feel good gem for a little bit. Let it uh, pulse through us. We just need enough that I don't feel like I'm going to get one shot. 50% is fine. We can heal the rest at base. Just because when we go to Blotki, we're going to have to put up with um, new enemies. Since I don't think we've cleared it since the last uh, tide. Ah, crap! The carburetor's dead. Hey! What's up there? Are we hitchhiking or what now? Yeah, probably. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to. Carburetor's oh. dead. 
Oh, hey, crap. Up the there. carburetor's dead. Are we hitchhiking or what now? Okay, looking good, looking good. Looks neat. Looks sweet, neat game. Yeah, this game's pretty fun. And this is only the, uh, the baby zone. When you get to the higher rank zones and you're having to sit there with a the fucking sniper rifle scared for your life. Ooh, even more fun. Are we good? I think so. Just keep this out so that way we can do some quick checks for like... For example, how big is this thing? Yeah, it's pretty small. Yeah, average, I guess. Now, hold on just a goddamn minute. Oh, shit. Is that a phantom? I think that's a phantom over there. Yep, there he is. Got him. That wasn't what I was worried about. What I am worried about is up here in the tower. I think I see someone. Oh yeah, there he is. Well, I actually gotta land my shot. God damn it. There we go. Good shot. Uh, I get the feeling that this is just about out of it. Yeah, okay. Set you right there for a second. Slot a new mag. Tuck the empty one there. Put you on the bag, and voila, we shall continue. I was thinking of getting Love Stalker, etc. Yeah, no, I would definitely recommend the game. It's really fun. Uh, it's kind of like um, kind of like Stalker Anomaly in the sense of there's a story you can kind of follow, or you can just say fuck it and play it like a sandbox. Story missions will get you money, and you have to do them to unlock better stuff. But generally, like once you get the guns you like, you can kind of do whatever. If that's uh, what you desire. Right now, for me, I'm just trying to get to uh, get to the end of the story. See what uh, what exactly is going on in that regard. How the fuck am I getting through here? Can I walk around this one? Oh shit. How big is this? Big enough, or not big enough that I can't scoot around her here. And let's just. I think we got an electric red. Yep, okay. Let's not touch that, yeah. Now, here's a question Does anything respawn in here? Uh, neat. Okay. Hold up a sec. Sounds like there's one up ahead. Oh, uh, yeah, right there. Which means we will go this way, right? Yep. And is there anything in here? Nope. Alright, we're good to just keep moving then. Uh, I think we gotta go this way, right? Correct. So, I think... Is M1... Yeah, it's definitely not oh, brilliant. All right, you little fucker, come on. It's time to die. Poke. Oh wow, you took more than three stabs. Interesting. Hey, you know what? I'm hungry. I will eat the. Uh, I will eat my meat with the knife that I just killed something with. Certainly this will not taint my bloodstream and kill me slowly. But easy also. Alright. Definitely don't want to head over there. That's where like a fucking dude with an AR is. I'd rather not deal with him if I can help it. <sighs> Alright, time for the brappening too here. I'm the greatest seeker. Commit die. We good? Anything else? No. 
Very good, very good. Yeah, like in terms of like where I am in the game though, I'm like, I would say probably near the end game. I mean, no, not probably near the end game. We are at like the end game. I have one zone I haven't been to and I have full security clearance so I can buy whatever I want. Um, so this is what you should expect if you're getting like later into the game, like helmet, armor, uh, nice gun, nicer gun. And then, nope, not that, nicest gun. Uh, when you're starting out, you're just going to only have a fucking Mac Rob, and you're really going to be slumming it. Especially on the harder difficulties, like, even in Pervome, right? So, like, that area I was in uh, before, that's the first area you're in. When you're going around that with just a, like, eight-round pistol, it's like, oh, shit, this is not good. Oh, that's gas. Let's make sure we actually prep for that properly. Alright, let's see here. Uh, that direction. We got like the uh I think like right to our right here, we don't really want to bump into. Looks like it's gonna be right there. Nice. Build money for that. Nothing over there. Over there. Yeah, I've gotta head this way. And there we go. Good in this location now. Be clear to just jump off here. I don't see anything immediately willing to kill us. Nothing right there that's gonna kill. Yep, let's go. Alright. Off with the mask. On with the helmet. Nice. Pretty detailed game. Love the small details though. Yeah, no, it's a. Uh, <laughs> the, the game, uh. Especially when it comes to like, the combat, it feels pretty good. Um, oh, a bullet and a cassette tape. I will say, uh, for me, uh, I don't know why, it might be just like the dominant hand you choose. I don't like that one. Um, it might just be like the dominant hand uh, that you choose, but. I can't rack the pistol with my left hand. I have to swap to my right hand and then I can actually rack it. So that usually isn't too big a deal though. You're usually only gonna wanna be doing that when you're um, outside of combat, but when you when you fuck up and there's stuff chasing you and you have to like tactic reload and there's not something in the chamber, uh, it does get a little uh, a little spicy a little quick. But uh, other than that, combat's really good. Okay. Alright, is that a gunman up there? Right. Come on. Alright, so that's a seeker. We can take that out with my shotgun, no problem. I don't see any other movement at the moment. Yeah, other than that seeker over there, I think we're good to just go ahead and move up. Although, that said, we did complete all the missions, so we can't. We don't have to go into that. We can head up that way, and then make it to the facility that way. Maybe draw less attention on us, which would probably be a bit smarter. Big are you? Is that big? Yeah, we can squeeze through here. That's a gun, though. Yeah, Shit. 
Oh, great. All right, let's go ahead and get this song and dance over with, shall we? Why, why must she be up there? Oh, I broke my fucking knife, really. Okay, then. Just shoot you. That's a kill. You love to see it. Uh, nothing on our back. I don't see anything in front of us at the moment. That can change. We got a seeker there. Let's see. Anything on the left? Nope. Okay. Yeah, so where those sparkles are, where we gotta get right now. Good chance that Seeker sees us before we get there, though. Uh, actually, no, he is a further distance away. As long as we hug the left here, we should be fine. Uh, do I have a spare knife? No. We're going to have to re-up on those when we get back. Understandable. There was a gunman right there. He might take a couple pot shots at us, but if we... Run, I think we should be fine. One can hope. I don't know, he's definitely gonna see us. Alright, hold up just a sec. Yep. Oh, damn it. Now we're just gonna run it. Or at least try it. Yeah, no, this is fine here. I'm in like a divot. If he wants to get us, he has to come close. that threat dealt with. Alright. I don't think anything else is going to be a problem at this point, so we should be able to just book it. Unless we touch the death fine, in which case, you know, we have our own slew of problems at that point, but looks like we're going to get out of here just fine. Alright, so first thing we'll do is just head up to the shop. Do a quick sell of uh, some of the artifacts we came across. Turn our missions. And I don't think we need to buy anything at the moment. So, well, maybe we buy an extra set of armor and a helmet just so that when we need it, we can swap it out at back at base. Though it really doesn't matter if we do it now or later. All right, so let's turn in the quest first. That way we can get the big shit out of the way. Come here. Delivery. Radius treasures. One of these. Oh, and one of these. That's gonna get us two grand. We love that. Sample courier. Piss easy to get, so three hundred dollars makes sense. Marauder. There was a lot of motherfuckers on top of this, so I will be taking my nine hundred. In and out. The neon, which we got like right at the beginning of the whole thing. And there we go. Okay. You know, one thing I will do, I'll splurge just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and add a scope mount on the pistol. So we're gonna be selling basically all of this right here. We don't need it, so I'll get us some more money. And then we'll buy the Cobra Sight. Just to see how decent it is. Plus the raised sights will hopefully help us a little bit with, since the uh, suppressor's on this now. It makes it kind of hard to see. So, let's see. Just a scope. Oh, it's not a Cobra, it's a Viper P. Oops. Okay. Mm. 
That'll help a little bit, I guess. Dressing mode makes you put your pistol not in your pocket. Come, it looks good. Nice, keep it ready. Yeah. Yeah, pistol's good for anything that's not armored, that's for sure. So, like, having this thing ready to go whenever you need it. Deal with the small chumps. Always good. Shotgun, I found, is good for, like, things that you don't really want to fight with your pistol, but you don't want to fight with uh, your more expensive marksman rifle. This takes care of them pretty well. So, in terms of buying other stuff, is there anything else I need at the moment? No, I don't think so. I think we just need to sell, so. Chuck all this shit in here. And this. Alright, that basically pays for the uh, scope upgrade we got on our pistol, so I'm happy with that. How's the durability on it looking right now? Could use just a bit of a clean. I think... I think I put the safety on. Huh? Hold up. Oh, I accidentally hit that. Yeah, we need to go upgrade or er, repair the suppressor on this though. So we'll we'll do that. Take the suppressor off. Holster that for a second. Oop. Dress mode off. Is that a pistol in here? Suppressor that is. Let's go ahead and move some ammunition over to the respective boxes. And so this is one of the other parts I find pretty fun about this game. Just your base organization. Everything stays where you put it, so you can come back and have like a nice little organizational journey. Usually what I do is like at the end of my streams or if I find some decent guns along the way I'll come back here and do just a bit of gun cleaning keep them uh, top pr uh, condition and or sell them if they're the type of gun I don't need to like if I take a look over here I've got like uh, both types of the sawed off double barrel and the long barrel for the uh, shotguns so if I find one of them out there and I bring them back I'll just clean it up run up to the store or sell it and so now this should be, yep, good quality. Take that in there for a second. How's the shotgun looking? I didn't really use it that much, so should be basically new. Doesn't hurt to just top it off, though. There we go. That, I think that went on. And then, we did shoot this a little bit, so yeah, let's clean it. Come on, work with me here. Actually, you know what? This is going to be way easier if I do it like this. There we go. Put your phone back. Okay, we're good. Alright. Take out that mag. Take out this mag. This mag was full, so... I'm just going to load you up. Put you back on there. And now, with ammo. Here we go. Let's load these back up. Go on that one. Yeah, get on that one. There's only missing one. Alright then. And. Let's load up our 9mm here. Good, and our spare box here, we gotta put 25 in. Wish this could be a little quicker, but... I think we used one slug out of our box, so let's go ahead and do that. Yep. Here we go. 
And now I think we're fully loaded. Actually, real quick. No. Let's go ahead and get this loaded as well. That should be... Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Alright, for next battle. Yeah. Got the food here. Miscellaneous guns here. That was my previous marksman rifle. Um, range on it wasn't amazing, so it was having some fall off. Uh, so when I got the security clearance, I went ahead and picked up a dedicated sniper. And then we've got a couple just miscellaneous items there. Ammo bench, cleaning bench, extra mags, some cigs. Uh, the knife counter, which I do need to go ahead and re-up on my knife, so... Go ahead and do that. Enough knives to keep me going for a longer journey if need be. Um, need to set these over here. So this goes in here. This is a buckshot. And there is one of these. Which tops off this box. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, other than that, I think that takes care of all of the re-upping we, we need to do. We need to go up there, heal, and clean this suppressor. Um, I guess we'll keep that for right now. Doesn't hurt. Ooh, WD-40. We can go ahead and leave that here. And I think I deserve smoke now. There we go. Alright. Let's see here. Hmm. Doesn't look like we have the top priority mission yet, which is unfortunate, but. Banshee hunt, huh? Find the crier and put it on there. Uh, where's this cold cause one? Uh, that's a bitch and a half, isn't it? You know what? Let's do a little bit of a difficult mission. Operation cleanup. Yeah, we'll take that for right now. Yeah, I don't really fit. Price isn't good on that, so we won't do that one. And this is going to be next to the kill mission we got to do in Pervome, so that's fine. Alright. That's a good amount in progress. We don't have a grenade on us, so let's go ahead and put an F1 in here. And then head on up to shop one more time before we head out. Let me check my armor real quick if we're going to be doing this. I think this will survive one more fight. But after this, we're definitely going to have to re-up, methinks. Almost out there. Puff the last of it down. Just for a box of... Ooh. That is definitely an expensive cartridge. Um, surplus AP. Yeah, we don't want those. What the? What do we unlock here? Five by thirty-nine. I guess I just never examined this. The only other weapon I would be thinking about getting at this point would be the DVL-10 Fiber Stunt. Comes with a 10 round mag. I'd have to compare it. I mean, it comes with an integrated suppressor, so I guess that's kind of cool, but... Not exactly what I need, per se. You can always run down to the gun range later. Maybe at the end of the stream. Because I, I don't think we're going to finish the game tonight. We're definitely going to need uh, one more stream for this. Especially, like, like I said especially twice. Um, but that's a, that's even more so the case, given that uh, I don't want to go for, like, a six hour tonight. Maybe, like, three hours is fine, but give my uh, body a little bit of rest. Alright, let's see here. So, 
I'm gonna wanna start by heading through cold calls. How long till the whole day still? We got time. It is dark, but we can manage it. Night ops aren't something that I'm too afraid of. What I am afraid of is I think there's going to be like 10 dudes spawning in front of us, so we're going to have to take them out pretty quick. Let's see. Is this the case? No, looks like we might be fine. Yeah, looks like we're good. Okay. Now what we gotta worry about is getting over here. They're definitely gonna have better vision than I am. Right. Here's what we'll do to start out. Watch one of those. I didn't clean the suppressor. Fuck. Alright, well, we're just gonna have to deal with the dirty suppressor. I'll have to clean it when we get back. Cause I don't wanna, like... I can leave that behind, or leave that off. Okay. Looks like we're good to go ahead and move in. I want to get to a tower right here that overlooks that whole base. Makes it a bit easier for the sniping job. We have to cross this river. We might drown just a little bit. It's fine, though. A little bit of water never killed anybody. A lot of bit of water did, though, so... As long as we're careful. We keep these flares on us for a reason, so let's make sure we use them. Make sure we get up here before people start popping off at us. Alright, this is the right side, yep. I don't hear anybody up here. Yeah, we're clear. This is the uh, same uh, tide when we did our last clear here, so not much going on at the moment. That said, I do see someone in there. Wish I'd brought one more flare right about now. Hmm. Alright, let's see if we can scope out at least what that is. Come on. seeing shit through the scope right now. Hmm. We could wait till daytime up here. It is getting... You can kind of see it now. It is getting a little bit brighter. We'll wait a few minutes. Just go ahead and do a quick manual save. Nothing in sight nearby. So where specifically? So it's in the middle building. Looks like right about where that tree would be. Okay. Let's go ahead and head in there. I know for a fact there's a guy right there. We'll breach the wall here, head that way towards him then. We'll have the shotgun ready to go. Let's 
Cut off the light. Give ourselves just a bit of uh, sneakiness here. Alright, let's not run. I bitch my face there for a second. Can't enter from this side, so whoever old boy is behind that, I don't really have to worry at the moment. It's a brick wall. Another closed off area. We're gonna go ahead and turn the light on. I think I heard a footstep in there. And the golden pineapples. And a 9mm. Right, let's leave the shotgun on our shoulder right now. Oh, great. Yep, that's what I feared. Shredded me in one go there. I wonder if our armor like peeled off right then. Alright, dude, I'm dead. Chill. Because I think it was at full health, wasn't I? Yeah, I was at like mostly full health. How banged up is my fucking chest? Ooh, yeah, this thing is done for. Okay. Well, that's good to know, I guess. Should have checked that before I came out here, though, because that means I am in mortal danger. Because everybody here is using guns. But instead of running back uh, with my tail between my legs, I will like just stupidly bash my head against this until I win. The true warrior way. Okay. Nothing in the front here from what I can tell so far. One guy back there. I don't think he saw us. Can't get in right there. Let's check down this way. Nine by thirty nine, nine millimeter. Okay, so if we go in through the left here, we can get into this room. Got it. What's that box doing up there? Alright. Here's gonna be the plan. I know there's a guy down the hall on this one. So we'll get prepped with the sniper. Good shot here, really. I think he sees us. I think we got him. That shot. dead. 
Right, that was a good shot. What kind of guy were you? Can't quite tell. You would have had something. I can see the helmet on you. forward here. Come on, you little fucker. Get blind fired, idiot. Yeah, that worked pretty well. Alright. Some money. And 545 five AP. Cool. I don't use that, but cool. Confirmed a shortage of sour cream, cheese, several types of berries. Someone steals right from the warehouse. The watchman didn't see anything. I think it's one of the workers. Such a disgrace after receiving state awards. We'll try to look for the thief on our own for now. It's me, I'm the little thief. You shouldn't have. Okay. Another flare for our nighttime ops. This is a M4A1 mag, huh? I don't think I got one of these. We'll collect it. This is for my gun, I believe. Yes, sir, it is. Good shit. More of those we find on our journeys, the happier a man I am. Come on, don't stand up. Oh, you're really gonna do this to me, huh? There we go. And surplus, whatever. A VOG, not bad. The round's a buckshot. I guess we can use that in a pinch. So here's what I'm worried about. Last Marauder mission we did, there was a ton of people on this body. Oh, shit.
Come on, make your jump. Not on the wall, like, I mean, if you're gonna do it, I'll do it on this wall. Come on. Squeeze by on this side. And I think that'll cook me a little bit. But is that the only way? I don't think there's squeeze space right here, is there? Oh, no, there is. back that way. We got some top ahead though. Base of this tree maybe? Shot me dead. Why must you keep shooting at me? I am gone. It's just insulting at this point. Alright, what do I got on my hands here? Gun? Ah, yeah, this is what we're. Okay. Well, that takes care of that. Well, here's the watch we came for, so. Got that on us now. I think we also go ahead and just do one of those for the sake of not dying as quick. gunman came from them, but let's go ahead and reap my reward, shall we? UNPSC Explorer 12 Block 13-1 Blanks. Blank artifacts have the appearance of semi-transparent stacked circular torus rings with the average diameter size of a bracelet. Blanks are called so because they apparently don't do anything. But at least blanks are relatively easy cash that you can find all across the radius. When the UMPSC first started engaging the change to search the radius for artifacts, they thought that every object found would be significant in some way and have some scientific application or help us understand what happened in the chores. So far, blanks have proven this theory wrong, or at least that's what the UMPSC claims. Some explorers speculate that the UMPSC scientists have found uses for them and their findings have been classified. I once met an explorer who believed that blanks could hold the key to curing our condition, allowing us to return to the real world instead of the radius. But this is just speculation. No explorer has ever been able to do anything with a blank. Maybe sometimes a blank is just a blank. No 
know what we came here for, but I am curious if there's anything back here. Never keen on when I have to deal with something like that. I don't know when he's gonna be peeking. Slow, uh, slow peeking with a sniper is always risky. Because target acquisition when you're using an 8x scope isn't exactly the easiest. Go ahead and head out of here now. Got what we needed from here. We need to re up our armor because this shit's broken. We'll check if it's uh, more efficient to repair it or if we should just buy a new one. Probably be about the same if I were to guess. Oh, that's the hole in the wall right there. That's right. How much time do we got to hold tide? Whole day still. We should be able to complete the rest of our missions before that hits. So it's a little bit of a snack there. I thought I was crouched for a second. I'm like, this looks very tall. And it is. It's just very tall. I'm glad that the enemies hadn't repopped here from a tide because if I came in here with only like a helmet, essentially. Hell, is this thing even still functioning? I'm oh, still fine. Well, not fine. It exists, I suppose. Alright, let's get our energy up because we're going to have to sprint across this. I'd rather not take ground damage if I can help it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, well, we drowned regardless. <laughs> oh, well, we'll pay the money to fix our lungs, I guess, when we get back. Get a little bit of a lung pump. Back on we go. Gen to drop off here. Since we found an extra one of these, we can keep one in stock. And then some miscellaneous bullets. I think that's it's two nine by thirty nines. 
And then is this a M61? Yes. Look at that, I'm knowing my fucking rounds. Um, two of those. Drop out there. You're gonna be 545, five, I think? Nope. Okay, 556. Five, and then. Some AP55. Five, five. Oh. Do that. You can go there. VOG. More shotgun rounds. Go. Uh, anything else? I'll take the VOG over to the table and then we'll go to the uh, store real quick. Check our missions. Nope, no missions. Do the other missions and then we'll wait for a tide to pass. Maybe that'll re up the priority. Oh, there was a button there. Clear my lungs, please. Thank you. Okay. I've got both of these I'm willing to sell. Quick 800. Let's take that. And then you are our delivery. Continue. All right. Let's see here. This thing is destroyed. How much for a repair? Oh, that is way cheaper. Oh fuck yeah. Apply that then. If I bought a whole new vest, it would be four grand. Nice. Good to know that the maintenance on these aren't going to be too bad. And this was like twelve hundred, so six hundred maybe. It will take a few seconds, that's fine though. Um, in that case, while we're waiting... Take that off. Very good. Put that on. Oh yeah. Easily repair those. Anything I need to repair on this? Uh, the mags could use some repairs. I'll do that real quick. Just re up all the mags. Okay. Tuck this on. Where's my pistol? There we go. Every mag gets repaired real quick. What's on my mind? It's only 127 for all of them. So we're fine with that. While that's happening, let's come over here real quick. So I want to look at the 12 by 70. So that weighs 3 kilograms, 3.2 kilograms. And you have to also take into account how many mags you're bringing. Okay. Put a full one in there so that we don't have to pull it back out to reload it. How much would it cost to repair that? 72? Yeah, fuck it. Go ahead and get that ripped. <sighs> Other than that, I think we're good. Just need to load the mags. And then... Consider buying the Saiga when we get back after this next run. How long are we in? Almost an hour and a half. Okay. Alright, there we go. Cool.
Oof. I think we had... Are these the cycle long mags? Yeah. So if we brought those in, we'd be able to load them up pretty quick. This is one of these way though. Versus a long mag. Honestly, this is just as fine. So I think we go with the spaz then. This is our... Yeah, we wouldn't weigh too much more. And we wouldn't have to fucking pump it every time, so that would help. But like I said, we can do that when we... Oh. Almost forgot. We need to uh, reload just real quick. I think like uh, one of these... Or this one, and then this one need a little bit of ammo. So we'll top them up real quick. Just as a... Uh, because that's what we do. Keep it routine. Alright. So now, one day until the tide, we go to the Provome routes. Now I got mission one and two, which requires us to kill and grab. That's easy enough. Get 700 out of that. And then we'll sleep till the uh, tide passes. If you are on a hike at night, turn on the clock or field maps black light. Or backlight, not black light. Alright, so our kills are gonna be over at the station. And. Our sample's gonna be out in the middle of the area there. Okay. That's not too bad. Guess I could sell that for like 50. Doesn't hurt. Not gonna clean it up, that's for sure. It's gonna take more time than it's worth. And I already got one for uh, purposes of uh, collection. around here. Pick up anything that looks of note. And keep moving. Right. Climb up here. Easiest way over the wall. There's our targets over there. We can go ahead and knock out a couple of them. Shit, did I not kill that guy? some fragments, which I'm fine engaging with the pistol. I just don't like getting shot, so let's take out every guy that's going to shoot me. And then... Our... I think our sample's going to be right over here. Maybe like a watering hole.
I guess a watery hole, I don't really call it a watering hole. Well, fuck me. Oh, you're a gunman. Sorry about that. Thought you didn't have a gun. Oh, shit. Oh, fucking Christ. How are you hitting me through the rock? this for a fucking can of soup goodness I don't know if that was worth 400 fucking dollars but I guess we did it if I had actually thrown the grenade in the pit we had been sitting pretty, but, uh, unfortunately I fucked that up. Oh, no. No. There we go. <sighs> Still gotta kill a couple people. How many bolts we got in here? Enough. Enough. <sighs> and that's the mission done. You get to live. Back home we go, with the heart thrumming in our ears from being shot multiple times. We definitely shredded that shit more than I liked. You're gonna be in my way, so let's go ahead and take you out, shall we? We'll just repair it when we get back, I'm not that bothered. As long as we get back and don't accidentally kill ourselves here in a second. Did the helmet get dinged up at all? It did. And uh, we ate like a full burst there, so I'm not super surprised, honestly. Right. Onwards to glory, my friends. I can make it. Nah, I'm gonna have to like stop and rest for like a second, aren't I? So close. Yet so far. <laughs> Alright. Should be able to make it in here, yeah? Yeah. Alright. So we go up, heal, turn in the quests, do quick repairs. Might as well. There's 
to that fuck up the knife, I wonder. Well, oh. knife does degrade pretty quick, huh? Alright, let's do our deliveries first. Just that way we get the money out of the way. Yep. Wow, uh, this was only worth 370 and to kill all those bastards for that. Not worth it. Not worth it in Joel. Uh, we need to do some repairs. Repair that. Repair this and repair. Come on, get in there. Repair that. Totals up to 300. We can we can stomach that. Let's go sell this in the FMJ box. <laughs> worth zero fucking bullets, huh? Or not bullets, they're worth zero dollars. It's kind of funny. Alright. There we go. Alright, let's head back to our... Ooh, hold up. The thrumming in my ears tells me that I forgot that. Alright. What about our missions now? Here we go. Top part one. So that's in cold cause. Another marauder. Is there anything else? Cold cause, maybe? No. Okay. If we want a bit of an easier time, we should go do that now, before Tide rolls through and makes that place a living nightmare. So, that's what we're going to do. Should be good here. We've killed like everything in this general area. So if we're lucky, we can just book it right over here and finish this up. Could check that before we leave for any artifacts. Hell, maybe we'll go walk up to Petrosh Castle just so that way we've got it outlined on our map. A little bit of a smoke as we go. Like I said, we shouldn't have too much to worry about, so... Just have a nice, lovely way over here. I say that and then there's a guy walking over there. Because, of course. Alright. Sound of a bullet landing near me. Like a 
sniper almost. Might just be hearing things. We do know that we have. Fuck. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, I'm going to act like that uh, didn't happen. Hello, sir. Do you have anything on you? Like, maybe healing supplies? No, just two bullets that I'll never use. It's fine. God, that blue. I really just wanted to grab that note. Fuck it. Go for it. Seems to spaz only slightly more than spawns usually do. I inspected the end of my gun. Didn't look damaged at all. Was this thing friendly? I had to test. I got down to a knee and put the SMG to the side of my backpack as I pet the dark sea urchin. It began to spaz. It was almost funny in a way. Dog. <sighs> Fucking Christ. Of course a BTR would be here to ruin my day. Health's low enough that anything can really kill us right now with the issue. We'll accept that we uh, made a mistake and fell to our uh, untimely need for a heal. Bye bye. Why isn't this good? That was about as bad as it could get. But I don't think he hit us. So that's one W. So what's the mission again? I never actually looked at it, I don't think. Good playground. The committee appreciates you. Oh shit, hold up a minute. Got a rift in here. I don't need to deal with that. Oh fuck. Wait for him to stop spraying. So there's a whole clown car in there. Got it. Okay. Hardback. The idea will be to draw him out in the open and we'll hit him with the sniper. Driver's cab is red. Point your flashlight straight ahead. The fuck does that mean?
I gotta clear this area out then. Jesus. So disorienting. We're kind of gaming here, so I don't want to uh, have to fall too far back if we die in just a second. Nope. This. like that because I knew I was going to do something stupid there. <laughs> right, so if we go through the door there though we can come out on the uh, side where we just have like a straight sight line on them and that'll help us out a little bit. Right here.
you just disappeared. Come on, give me the light. <sighs> Fine, I mean, if he isn't going to turn around, I'm just going to use the left hand. I'll take that. get in here and get this for it. People start respawning. I thought. He was unarmored, so I knew I could take him out like that. Which ammo? Six. Yeah, let's go ahead and load this thing up. Cycle to a new mag, so that way we're running durability on all of them instead of just one. Slug boxes, I actually need these. And this... We can definitely clean this up and sell it for a pretty penny. I'll leave this, uh... Right here. For when we're leaving. Did mention uh, something about a flashlight, so I think I should probably bring this in here with me. Plus, it gives me a bit longer range of light. All right. Shit. Where's that coming from?
right, let's just see what Kiddo has to say here. If the driver's cab is green, put your light in, you will win. Is that above me? Shit. If we get hit, I think that kills us. Regen artifact. Lays this for just a couple minutes. Maybe this will help some. We're just gonna blitz it down here. Cause we gotta find this dude. Before I can feel comfortable trying to explore. See down here maybe? You know, sometimes they get caught there. Oh, he's not down there. Up there maybe? Makes sense with where the fucking Christ. Where did that just come from? Fuck. Okay, hold up. I get up here. Moved. Question is where to. Where? He took a shot at us from over there, it sounded like. I think that's an MP5 mag. Rush him. Type of bullet. Makes sense why that's not fitting then.
Where the fuck is the sniper? Freak me out, that's for sure. He had a shot on me up there and he took it. So where does that put you? Are you up here maybe? See you up there. Goodness. Wasn't really sure what to think of some creature I want. I didn't really try and kill me. But this one different. Bringing myself to my feet. I would bring myself to my feet. No sudden movements and slowly approach the spawn. Tapped it lightly with the barrel of my gun. I guess we'll just try and ignore the fact that there is a sniper in here somewhere. Or maybe he's outside. If the driver's cab is green, put your light in, you will win. Hell's going on there? So we got ghost train. confused here. This is obviously a puzzle of some kind, so we gotta figure it out. So... If the driver's cab is the red, driver's cab is red, point your flashlight straight ahead. Point your flashlight straight ahead. Okay. The driver's cab is red. Well... If we take a look in here, the driver's cab, which I'm assuming is this. If the driver's cab is green, point your light and you will win. Point your light and you will win. Point my light where? Oh. What the shit? Did I already do it on accident? Over here, it's saying. Translucent ring. You tell it's made of uh, glass if it wasn't too heavy. Looks broken, but shards stay in place for some for reasons known to the radius. Alright. Well, I guess that uh, is what we came for, so. We'll take it. If the driver's cab is green, put your light in, you will win. How many smokes are in here? Five? Well, don't mind if I fucking do. I think I've earned it. Went the light that way. No, not the knife. No, not that knife. No, not the cigarette box. Please. Please. There we go. 
Put that back in. Huh. A couple miscellaneous rounds. We'll bring those with us. Alright. Grab the AK and I guess let's try and head back. Got any uh, artifacts over here, perhaps? Yes, sir, we do. Oh, let's get a little extra money while we're out here, yeah? After getting sprayed down as much as we did, I think we're going to need the money to uh, buy some med injectors. Okay. I don't think I can go through that. Those things are crisscrossed too good. Can go this way though and head around here. That's right there. Looks like we can go through these two fields right here though. Maybe. Depends on how big this thing is. Uh, we're good. That's a very awkward position for you to be in, friend. Wow. All that hurt for just a fucking steps. That kind of sucks. Nothing else to note there. Alright. Let's get back home then. Should be the mission done, correct? Uh, yeah. We're good. Not bad. How much health do we have? We're a little over half. Like I said, it'd probably be a good idea to dip by Petrovsk. And I've lost tracking on my left hand. Well, that's not good. Well. Maybe left hand will come back someday. Probably back there somewhere. Oh, here we go. Left hand's back. How do we got in the zone? Eight minutes roundabouts. That's enough time for me. What's the way to get to Pachorsk here? Because I feel like there's a lot of zappy in front of me. And uh, I don't really want to become a chicken nugget right here at the end. Can we go just straight down the road? Yep, straight down the road seems to work. Right on. Right, let's take a look at what the final area, I, at least I assume, is the final area in the game. Well, fuck me. This place looks interesting. Bye. We 
we got a little bit of time. We can take a quick peek in here. made this their home for centuries. When we came here on a high school field trip, I thought I could still smell the open hearth. The wine, the suckling pig, the blood. There's not much for lords to do, and there's no war or political intrigue to amuse them. So blood kept flowing in their halls. They tortured and killed anyone who displeased them, to make an example of them or simply for entertainment. Then... The castle fell into disrepair, and anyway, the times were changing. The rich and powerful built themselves new palaces. This place stood abandoned for centuries, though passers-by would sometimes squat amidst the ruins. Bandits, vagabonds, children without parents. A band of partisans stayed here briefly during World War II. They all died here. In the 50s, the Soviet government finally noticed the castle and turned it into a museum. And now, now this is all that's left. Can't smell the blood of past centuries anymore. Can't smell anything human. I wouldn't call myself religious, but maybe we're paying for the sins of the past. For all the sins of humankind. Fuck that. <laughs> Why do I gotta pay? I didn't do shit. It's a raw fucking deal if you ask me. Shadow monk, maybe? Sh some show monk? Who's even giving me these missions? Why? I can't remember or understand the thing, yet here I am, pressed to continue out here. I've died once, and yet the radius lured me back in, as if by some divine fucked up joke. Let the position... Let the position of my demise up like a beacon. Yet there I wasn't, just my things. Ramrod. Ramrod. Okay, game doesn't want me to use my uh, long range grabby ability right now. So be it. There's no way I get the fucking. Oh, first try, let's go. Okay. Strange camera, holding it in my hands. I hear someone's forgotten thoughts. Okay, say cheese. Sasha, would you quit that, please? If you stop making faces, if you don't stop making faces, one day it sticks to you forever. All right. Still got enough time to check around here. looking for. It's just a big ol' ammo box, in it? Some secret documents. It's like 500, I think. Slash 19. I told him that was a shitty idea. Dying is a bad sign. It makes people go nuts. But he wouldn't listen and went to that bloody castle. 
Last thing I remember is seeing flashes from the explosions on the right from the bridge. We must be lying. They're dead now. What's left of them? a mag. Sure. What are you? Tactical. Well, good to know that there's a free weapon box there. A flare for my troubles. How much time? Five minutes. Feels something horrible is about to happen. I've followed the events for a while and figured that the next instance will take place in the castle. I'm absolutely sure it will. I'm going there tomorrow. There's no time to be scared, Katya. Or it'll be too late. What? They call this pile of rocks a landmark? Sheesh. It's gonna be one long week. Is one long week. better to do in Pachorsk? <clears throat> I mean, this place, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. And then you look up and you see that and you're like, whoa, this is kind of crazy. Fucking hell. Four minutes. These moments, it's the way things keep happening. Is this place in a loop? I keep feeling like I have deja vu. Like I know what, to, what not to do, yet even then it doesn't play out in my head. No one would believe me if I said I've seen myself die a thousand times, but I've only felt the true sting of death once. Back tomorrow, I guess. What the hell? Why is there a fragment out there? It's a little odd. There's a kid up there. I drop off that AK. It was over here, wasn't it? Before Katka. I feel like it was. Yep, there it is. A 
take a look over this ledge real quick. I've got enough time to do it. I'm just curious. There's nothing out that way. Yeah, there's just two fragments out there. It's odd. Is there an artifact right here, maybe? There's a lot of anomaly. No, I don't think so. Alright. Well, we've got enough time to get back. So let's make sure we do. That's going to be interesting. Mm, so that place is perpetually lit up too. Noted. If we head straight down the road, we should be fine. We've been going two hour twenty. Okay. I think we got enough time to get back, turn in all the stuff we've done, uh, get some quick cells out of the way, and then we can go check out the gun range real quick. See if um, I feel like picking up any other weapons for we. Uh, for next stream when we're going to be doing our probably last run for a while because I think that'll be the end of the uh, main missions I will say while I've been playing wearing these shoes it's been pretty good I'll uh, have to see how I feel like in a day or two though, if I'm uh, more or less sore. How heavy are we right now? 32? Okay. reading up on like VR headsets and whatnot because I don't know Memorial Day happened and uh, Reverb G2 was $400 so I was like huh what how different uh, headsets are right now with how they're priced so I just ended up looking back into it and one thing I can definitely like agree with from what I've seen is like the Reverb G2 has some trouble tracking when your controls are close to your face like it's working now, but if I keep it here for a sec, I'm moving it left, and it snaps. So that does get a little bit annoying, especially when I'm trying to, like, ADS. But, you know. Can't be perfect without having, uh, fucking base stations. And maybe, like, the, uh... Index Nux, which, that's, like, 600 on its own. Not exactly what I'm willing to shell out right now. Alright, let's get this thing anchored up. Like so. There we go. And start spraying it down. What the hell? I'll grab that in a minute. Brushy, brushy, brush. Now we need a ramrod, but we're going to need more tissue for that. Okay. Good to sell. Set that right there for right now, because we also want to clean the rest of our guns real quick. Keep everything nice and tidy while we can manage it. Okay. 
Come on, anchor it. There we go. Uh, what is happening to my hand? There we go. Shotgun's nice and clean. Now for the tiger rifle. I don't know why my fingers keep like inverting. There we go. Alright, now to organize all this fucking. What is this? Kids Playground 6. Another fatality reported at the train depot. The watchman was ran over by a train. They also caught some kids on the site, deadly frightened. They confessed sneaking to the depot, though I don't think they could get that train moving. Could they? The thing was broken, rotting there for like, uh, for like that. There for like the last 15 or so years. I can't fucking read. What power could do that? Me. Idiot. Alright. So... Come on, right hand. Work with me here. Alright. Okay. I don't have a box for that yet. Do have a box for these though? Alright. I don't know why in my hand they look so different. Well, that bullet's gone. Nope, oh, nope, oh, there it is. I wasn't about to go look for it, that's for sure. There we go. Uh, do we have secret documents? We do, so I can sell this. This, however, we'll put... Right here. Nice. And then... Need to load up the slug box. And drop off two of these knives. And then we have a bunch of miscellaneous ammo to work through here.
Three more. Yep. One right here. Adjust myself because I just punched something. All right, let's get all your caliber in here. That's all for you. Okay. You are this one type right here. I don't think we got any of those. Or actually, hold the phone. Wait, where'd that new box ammo I had go? Did I like bump it off somewhere? I probably bumped it off somewhere. Alright, let's get the 9x39s. I know I had a box here. Where to go though is the question. Let's take out one of these flares. Leave it there. Well, I have no idea where it went. Maybe I'll come across it like laying on the ground in here. Oh, there it is. I need to dump for right now. We'll load up all the mags and stuff in just a minute here. I bring a gift. 1100. Easily is gonna take care of my medical expenses and my repairs I'm gonna need to do. Delivery. There you go. Now, let's get my armor repaired. Okay. Tiger suppressor you need to repair. It doesn't really, but we'll do it anyways. Go ahead and repair them both. Damn it, piss this on the ground again. There we go. That's all I need. Thank you. So, and da, 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 da. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Actually, just go ahead and pick up two of these. Lord knows we'll need them. From we fuck up. Alright, back down. Take a look at the missions we've got available.
Okay, we'll accept missions in a minute here. We're we're gonna go ahead and take a quick look at the uh, the range because we've got money now. I think it's time for another good old upgrade. Just the question as to what. <coughs> All right. So there's a few weapons that I need to look at. What ammo did I unlock here? I don't know, I probably just never viewed it. Um, let me get one of these, one of these, one of these. Okay. Alright. Alright, so we got shotgun stuff here. Give me the box of slugs. Let's try these out, shall we? <sighs> Come on, get away from my face. Terrible. Let's go ahead and see what this guy is. Alright. Interesting. Let me go ahead and take a look at the uh, upgrade paths on both of these. Slug, so we can get interesting. We can get um, four ammo in the chamber on this. Let's throw this on. Come on. There we go. And then let's also get the uh, the rails on it. We'd be able to get more shots in this because that's 8 plus 4, 12. We got Saiga Mags, which we can get up to a max of 11. Interesting. Well, I think this would become 13 then because we would have the, um, the extra in the chamber. So you can't, you can't put a suppressor on this. I don't think you can do this either, right? Yeah, no. Now, real quick, can you put one on this? I think you can, right? No, no, you can't. I'm full of it. Get rid of it. Okay, so now, 
Rail the attachments. So let me make sure. We added we placed the base site with a rail B slot. Okay. So then that means we can get an EOP. Spectre, let's go ahead and grab all of you. Okay, let's grab you too. One of everything, please. Alright. Let's just go ahead and put you on here. Increase the uh, spread size on it. My finger itches. Hello? Hello? Upgrades? I guess to be fair to this, I should probably pick up another mag. Alright, now we've got these things tacked out. Let's see here. So, for this one, I'd be able to put on both flashlight and... The question is, I, I can't remember quite how to do it. Oop, that's not it. Hmm. Alright, let's try this out real quick. Interesting. Alright, so what about for scopes? Nah, I don't feel that. Um, how about you? Hmm, it's not bad. Let's take a look at the rest of them now. Uh, you. It's kind of in the same boat as that one, but I think I like this one better because it's raised a little higher. Is it? Maybe it just takes up less profile. 
Yeah. I think between these two, this one would be my preferred. And then... And I'm gonna be honest, I think I like this one most. Out of all these, uh, dot-based uh, ones. Now let's see here, how do you look with this? Interesting, and with this... Can I actually hit something at range with this? That's the question. If it's loaded with slugs. can, but it becomes much harder to wave it around with uh, two hands at that point. So I think maybe, maybe we middle ground it with a scope like this, because I can still flick it side to side pretty quickly. It doesn't take up as much space either, so it's a little easier to like, and then if I need to hit something at a bit of a range. Not bad. Okay. The question is, would I rather have it like that, or just have to kind of aim a laser? Yeah, aiming a laser at range is a fucking nightmare. Definitely good for like that, though. So I think we would go with a scope of some kind, probably a four times. Leave the extreme sniping for my sniper. Now, you, it's going to be a similar situation regardless on both. I think I'm going to like this scope better. Just do I want to use a mag-fed shotgun or that shotgun? If I use mags, I definitely have to run out of room. I think I'd probably go with the spaz. Laser, laser and a four times. Spaz, and then we upgrade it a little bit. It should do exactly what I need. tricked out our M9. Okay, so now for... So for when it comes to shotguns, I think maybe if they sold the big mags, I'd be willing to do it, but they only sell the 10s, so I'm not too inclined. Not to mention we are mag dumping with our shotgun too often. Now these are the things I gotta actually take a look at. Because probably one of these is gonna replace my... Uh, Ranger, range weapon. Okay. Let's also pick up an extra one of these per for loading the weapons right now. Action two is the thing. That might be rough. Okay. So let's compare it to the Tiger rifle. Just off of specs alone. So Tiger rifle on the left, DVT on the right, or DVL on the right. So maximum damage. Oof. 
Same accuracy. Probably same recoil after uh, updating. Heavier by quite a margin. All right, that takes care of those two. Now what about when it comes to ammo? Let's just get a big box of both of these, and then a big box of both of these. So this is like, yeah, low quality. Okay. Bring them over here. So, subsonic, AR, FMJ, interesting, so this doesn't, so this only comes in subsonic, huh, got it, so there's no armor piercing, I guess because this is like extreme piercing already, so like, let's compare the ballistics of the FMJ rounds for both. Basically full armor piercing and normal damage on this as well. Okay. Now, this has more armor piercing but less weapon damage, so you'd probably want to go with that. And then between these two, quieter, less armor piercing, and less damage. Yeah, I think I would probably just go with this box, to be honest. Alright. Let's check the ballistics. Definitely need a scope. Luckily, we got one right here. Slap that on top. And let's take a look at this, shall we? Okay. Oh shit, yeah, by default you have to actually upgrade that too. So that's one thing that it got going. You don't have to actually upgrade it. Yo, you're gonna watch only use a shotgun for primary. I don't get it. Yeah, I mean, like, the thing is, it, it kind of has the the stalker syndrome in that case, in that, um, shotguns are just really strong. Oh, you can upgrade the weight on it. So how much is it right now? It's at 5.6, but if we shave off a kilogram, it's still heavier than the Tiger, but much more manageable. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. I just like bolts and AR. Yeah, for me, I, for the most part, let's see, what did I progress the game with? I moved up to, my first upgrade from a pistol is my only upgrade at this point, so I'm using an M9. That's for just general trash clear or anything unarmored. Shotguns are for, um, some of the bigger guys that come at you that are a little too close to use, like a sniper or something. So like a seeker, um, sliders, and any of the armored guys that are within like probably right there. Like trying to use the dragon or the tiger or the DVT over there with uh, or DVL with an eight time at that range, eh, it's a little bit difficult. But you can make it work if you really try. But yeah, so like I when it when it comes to ammo economy though. You can't beat, like, snipers and, uh, and shotguns. So I can understand why people use shotguns. It's just, just easier, for sure. Like, right now, what I'm doing, I don't know how long you've been here. Um, 
trying to figure out if moving up from the Tiger to the DVL feels worth it. Uh, having to mess with a bolt will kind of make things a bit slower, but it might force me to be a little more ammo efficient. Not to mention uh, the damage comparison of the DVL to the Tiger here. DVL's got more damage, so maybe I can punch through and kill someone a little bit quicker. It especially helps that the ballistics on the FMJ versus uh, the FMJ from the two. Uh, the DVL's ammo is almost pure armor pierce. There's a little bit of fall off on the uh, Tiger's ammo, so... It's looking like I'm probably going to pick up the DVL. Um, though, I also do need to check real quick how good is the... It's pretty good, but generally I don't think I'm going to use this. Like, let's let's take a look real quick. Okay, let's see here. How good are you? So that's on auto, single. Make sure we load it. Pretty good. How's this thing purr when it's on auto though, I wonder? Let's check that over here. Uh, let me actually take this off top here and let's put on like an EOTech. Let's see. Oop, come on. Okay, so you actually have to eject it. Okay. Alright. You could see that being worth its money. Um, but I think for the style we're going for right now. If we have enough money, we'll be picking up the DVL and the Spaz. DVL is going to take priority, just so that way we've got like a super kill sniper. Yeah, upgraded M92, then AKM. Yeah, just use some DVL. DVL. One shot's armored with a scope I use. It's not anything like a COD. What's called kind of hammer, I guess. I uh, gotcha. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I think I went to the AKM as well, like, as my first, or no, I think I used the, no, 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 I did use the AKM. So when I, when I first, uh, like, I went with the M9, got, um, I was using the double barrel, and then I was using the pump action afterwards. And when I got to, like, a Pobeta Factory, I think it was, I realized how desperately I needed something to pick from a distance. Uh, and at the time... The AK was available. I just threw a uh, scope on it. It served its job, but I was going through ammo a little too quickly to try and kill things. And at a distance, the accuracy isn't the best, at least not compared to a sniper. So I had to swap out to the Tiger as soon as I was possible. And now we're, I think, at the end game essentially. Um, I think we're gonna have to do a few missions and then we hit Petrosha Castle. So I'm, I'm thinking pick this up and rock it uh, on the final raid. I accidentally just hit that button. Bang. Yeah, I love the cam though. It took me through a lot. Yeah. No, I could definitely see people using this thing for a while. Um, like, if it, if it took me longer to get through, I think from, what is it, security 3 to security 4, this would have been this would have been used for quite some time. But because uh, as soon as you hit security 4, that became available. And I don't really buy too much. I'm usually trying to be pretty conservative with, like, my uh, money. I had enough to just go ahead and bump up to it. Um, I remember for a time I was thinking, uh, like, when I first uh, moved to the AKM, it was between the Mosin and the AKM. And the Mosin, while it is good, it does a lot of damage and it does pierce just as good as the uh, Tiger. I couldn't get past the what is it the five round uh, five round cap on it, and having to reload uh, the Mosin. 
Because I thought that would get me killed too many times. You see, I'm around 50k now in most guns. Yeah. I think when, um, whenever I actually get done with the story, I'll probably play some more, like, off stream and just end up getting, like, a save with just all my guns loaded in, like, just a nice little collection. But, uh, yeah, for now, I think I got, I think I did all the testing I need to do in there, so it's time to go check if I've got the dinero to actually do things. That's what I do for it. Yeah. Thing is, like, <laughs> I need to figure out what side missions are worth doing and what aren't. Because, like, there was one in Pervome where it was like, uh, oh, go collect a, uh, a, a sample container for 370. And I was like, okay, Pervome and just collecting a sample. That should be fine. Cross over into a pit and there's, uh, two dudes with, uh, armored dudes with AKMs and two armored seekers. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> This is Pervome, why are you guys here? <laughs> Gotta get these sold. Probably also need to eat, yeah. Gun range, you get a little hungry. Okay, there we go. Okay. Time is on the stream, three hour, one minute. Hmm, <laughs> let's see the money. 22 grand. It's definitely enough to at least get the DVL. Get all these boxes out. Taking up too much room back at base. $33. Hell yeah. Very efficient. Okay. DVL. And then we're gonna buy three mags for it. Alright. Good. So we'll set these in here for right now. Alright. Take this off. Put you on here. Nice. Slap a mag in you for right now. And now let's take you down. Actually, hold up a sec. Let's also buy a big box of FMJ. While we're up here thinking about it, don't want to go set you down just yet because we do have to throw on the weight upgrade here. For the DVL, I suggest the mid range scope. That's all I rock in an M9. Uh, I think I have a mid range. Let me check. It might only be the uh, four times for. USSR type weaponry though, so we might not be able to use that. Let me check. Set you up here. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to slap that on there. Yeah, we gotta buy the other scope then. Well, that will be good to have both. How much do you weigh? 1.113. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll just set you here real quick. Let's go ahead and take out the tiger. Alright. Put you on the side. You served me well, tiger. Go ahead and take a rest. Okay. Um, pull both these mags off. We'll set them right here. Oh, come on. Uh. Oh, boy. This is gonna be a little awkward. There we go. Nice. It's a little messy, but we'll take it. If you're on with a shoddy, too, though, this scope is probably better. Yeah. I'll probably, like, what I'll do... Uh. Let me check real quick. Yeah, we don't have the top mount on that. Hmm. I'll think about it in just a minute here, because I think... What was I going to do? Oh my god, my brain fucking sucks so bad. Let's see. Okay, first things first, let's get these loaded. There we go. It's one mag. It's two mags. 
Slot that up there. here that I could load. How many does this hold? 20 cartridges. There we go. Slot the box up there and then we can tuck you in right about there. Now we need slugs. Yeah, I think another reason that people run shotgun as well, because you get normal uh, weapon damage and absolute pierce with the slugs as well. And while the shotguns themselves, like, let me take a look at the damage value on the shotgun. Yeah, damage value is mid-range, so it's, uh, it's a much cheaper like full pierce you can get, but it definitely comes with its downsides. Oh, we gotta eat a bunch though. I think three of these ought to do her. Eh, punk four. And we'll just grab another can. Come here. There we go. Nice. Yeah, slugs are really good. Yeah, it, it's actually kind of crazy, like the difference in price on slugs. Like if I come up here real quick and take a look. Also, I need to check. Is there. No, there's no side rails. Um. The price difference. Yeah, so like the price difference between a hundred slugs and a hundred uh, buckshot is only like what? Less than $400. It, it, it doesn't make sense to not go with slugs. Um, because you look at the two types of ammo as well. I'm pretty sure slugs do normal damage and so does buckshot. Buckshot doesn't have a higher uh, damage value. If it did, there would be some trade-off between the two, but from what I can tell, unless, like, it's more granular than just normal decreased-increased damage, uh, slugs just blow them out of the water. So let's go up here real quick. I don't need suppressors, scopes, though. Alright. So the 4 times Spectre. That's a NATO. This thing has under so we could mm. uh, I think maybe I'll just rock with the eight time for it because I do want to get a four time and a laser for my shotgun but I would like to upgrade to the spaz I actually have the money for it Fuck it, we're going in. I'm a shotgun. New toys for me. I am a big boy, I deserve it. Alright, a couple things we gotta grab first on this before we move out. First things first, get four more in the chamber. Might have to get a new pump just for the Remington 870 bound. Oh, that sounds pretty damn good. Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to taking because people have mentioned mods for this game and I haven't looked into it too much, but from what it sounds, there's some pretty fucking good ones. Okay. So we've got four in the chamber. Let's decrease spread. Right, yeah, decrease spread. I ain't be able to afford it. How much of this am I going to be able to afford is the question. So if I decrease spread, I would be able to throw on the rails. I might have some stuff I can sell back at base. Hmm. Okay. 
throw that on. That is not the uh, number you want to see in your bank account there. That's for damn sure. But we'll make do. Alright. So you there for one second. Stripped it all off. And then let's set her down here with the other long barrels. And now it's time to load this bad bitch up. that leave four more we can load nice all right put that on my back okay now in terms of stuff we can sell kind of want to keep one of everything if I can so we can sell those is there anything else that'll fetch a price? Hmm, not a ton. You, we're gonna slap you back onto here. Hold up a sec, go to enter dressing mode. Actually, do you have to enter dressing mode for this part? No, you don't. You have to enter it for taking it off, though. Good. Okay. Yeah, I think that... Other than, like, the fuck down the knives over there, I don't think they'll suffer much, though. How long till the tide? Enough time, that's for sure. Clean up Balotki. Ooh. Kolkov and Pobeda, huh? <laughs> the Kolkovs and Pobeda, you want me to go get a heavy helix from both? We'll accept it. Marauder and Protobo Me. Cover Black Box and Pobeta. Oh, Jesus. Oh, well, that's definitely a lot of stuff. How's the armor looking? Good, we repaired it. Okay. Let's run up there and see how much more we can, like, throw onto the shotgun here. I, if I can, I would like to try and get the laser sight. I feel like that'll help out a good deal. But it kind of depends. I think this only fetches 100 and this is like 200, right? And it gets a 600. I don't think that's enough for the laser, though. Let's check rail B. Yeah, we're going to have to do missions to get that. But that's fine. Alright. Good looking. Alright, how long are we in the stream? 3 hour 13? Hmm. Maybe we do not all of them, but like a few of them. So, M2, we're gonna have to go into the helixes. Yeah, we need three helixes. So, that's gonna be a bitch to get through. Um. Hmm. I think that sinks up here. Okay. I think we do one more run for the night. We'll go into Pervome, head up to M3. That's going to be the Marauder mission, so we're going to have to kill a couple things and then get um, some loot. Then we'll head up to Blotki through here. Actually, no, we can head up to. We can head to Blotki through either of these, both of them will work. We'll end up over here, we'll get a heavy helix from that anomaly, head to M1 to do some cleanup, and then we'll park it for the night. 
And then next time when we show back up for the Thursday stream, we'll tackle uh, Pobeda and the Kolkos. And then after that, hopefully that'll give us the final top priority mission to go to Petros Castle. So I think that's a pretty good one, because I do want to try out these guns. I got new toys, like it only makes sense to want to like use them. So. Alright, I think everything is good. And we got enough injectors. Weight's fine. Yeah, we're good to go. Alright. Into Purvo may we go. And who knows, maybe we'll find a couple artifacts along the way that'll make it easier for us to buy the uh, necessary upgrades. Some tourist delight, really? Take it. I don't need it. I can't help but just like bring these little fuckers with me. I don't need to go loot that. Okay. So we're gonna have a way to go. Hold up just a second. I need to check something real quick. Yeah, that's what I thought. Battery on my left controller is uh, dying. It's uh, stopped doing the haptic feedback, which I'm fine with. But I just kind of realized, I was like, hmm. I don't feel anything coming out right now when I brush past my thigh. Um, we got anything right here? It does not look like it. Do you have anything? Okay. Um. Crack you open. Alright. Yeah, the M9's just really good. I wish there was some, uh, some higher damage pistols, though. Like, uh, maybe like a 357 revolver or something. Because it, it's a little unfortunate that your security clearance, I think pistols only go up to like security clearance too. And then you're basically just going to be using that type of gun throughout the rest of the game as your sidearm. Which, don't get me wrong, like I said, I do like the M9, but a little bit of variety would be cool. Maybe something that makes a uh, kind of like a pistol only run a little more viable. I, I mean, I say that, but I never really used the uh, the P ammo with the M9, so I don't know how much more damage that would be eking out there. Oh, on empty on this. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Gotta head up here. Oh, oh big. And you. Small enough that I can fit between you two. Alright, so here's the fun part. If this is like it was last time with this Marauder mission, there's gonna be like a group of people in that hut up there. Which means we need to get to a location where I can snipe at that without risk of being shot. Yeah, I see movement up there.
go ahead and load up these mags. Nice and loaded. I might have an idea. Now it is a little stupid. Hell, I would even call it crazy. But it might work. And if it does, it'll be really cool. Okay. It's gonna require some uh, finagling to get it done, though. First things first, let's go ahead and get our clothing situation sorted here. Question is, am I going to be able to get by without being shot here? completely terribly or hilariously awesome. Okay. Wow, I had to dump a mag to kill myself. Jesus. That was brutal. Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> Okay, well, it's gone. So be it. That bit's over now. Pardon? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Come on. Takes care of that little bastard. There's no way I make that throw right. Not a chance in hell. Oh shit! Well, they said no to that bit, so... Time for the pistols. a little bit of money. Thank you. 
That's actually going through. Hi. Really wish I had a grenade right about now. So that went well. Never use grenades, just throw them at myself when I do these. Yeah, <laughs> grenades are a little finicky. I've had them work a handful of times, um, but they're just, it, it's hard to actually land your throw, given how like the throw momentum works. So like if I do, if I like actually try and throw that, okay, let me come over here real quick. It's a little easier to show out in the open. If I try and like throw that, that's pretty good, right? But if I just like flick it from my hip, uh, I'm getting just about as much out of it. You have to really be careful, especially with the, what is it, the RDGs? Because they have, uh, I think, less fragmentation and a smaller blast radius compared to like the F1s. But... Yeah, there's only there's only a handful of times where a grenade really is useful, and that would be one of them. Uh, it seems like the Marauder missions usually put them put people pretty close together, so you get, you can actually get bang for your buck out of a grenade on those. Otherwise, I'm just chucking them as I get them. I'm like, yeah, fuck it. This is gonna take up inventory space. Otherwise, right. head over to Blotki. First things first, though. Put on the proper tools. Huh. I should probably clean this thing up, huh? That's the watch. The thing is with nades, I can throw them hard as fuck, flick them slower. It's like the tracking of my grip drops it before. Right. Yeah, I've had it like once or twice where like I've been in like a situation where I'm like, oh shit, I actually need to use a grenade right now. And I'll pull the pin, and I'll chuck it. And it'll just drop at my feet and I'm like, okay, I'll just let this kill me. Really no point in uh, continuing that timeline. <gasps> Energy drink. Now, uh, did I need to jump down here and down an energy drink? No. I just ate a pineapple. But I mean, come on now. If you see an energy drink, you gotta go get it. I wonder how long I can hold on this flare before something shoots at me. Hold on right there. <laughs> I guess I just have to get used to it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the thing with the grenades, though, Maybe it's better if you practice them at like the, the firing range, which, think about it now, that probably would have been smart to do earlier at some point in my run, but uh, I mean, they're not exactly things in, in practice when you're out in uh, the radius that you want to go buy like 10 grenades just to, you know, get used to how they go. Like they aren't the cheapest things. Not to mention, like, like I said, right, up there with that Marauder, yeah, makes sense to use a grenade there. But basically any other time, ow, you're going to want to, like, be away as far, as far away as you can from the enemies. 
and just picking them off from a distance, especially if they have guns. Like, and with uh, shotguns, you, you kind of already have that, uh, that necessity filled for, like, close range engagements with some big firepower, that is. Don't let that eat my feet. Oh, another blank for a drugs. Uh, that's fine. I'll just huff on a regen real quick. That's a knife. Let's not huff on that. How much do I got left in this? Yeah, enough for this run. We got another regen at home too, so... Not too concerned. I think we're going to get our first DVL shot up at. Because usually there's a guy up in that place. Yeah, he's there. Oh, jeez. You're freaky, aren't you? Alright. Let's see how good I am here with my schnoiper. Safety on. Okay. Seems like a good kill. Alright. Where are. Right through here. I think I can go around this, right? Yeah, sure. See, the thing with, like, when I overhand it, it's just pathetic. Underhanding it, way easier, and then doing it like this, I feel like I just fucking Hail Mary it. There's something there. I like both of the snipers, it's fun. Yeah, I mean... I can definitely respect a good bolt-action sniper. Like, just the tactility of it. Other than, like, yeah, the Tiger Rifle, for example. Let me also make sure I'm not about to die right here. Okay, let's move this way. Uh, the Tiger Sniper, you know, being able to dump 10 rounds pretty quickly, it compensates for things when you can't hit your shots. But when you got, like, a bolt-action, you're sitting there, you're like, okay, bang. There's something about it that's just very pleasing. So, sort of the same thing with the uh, revolvers, too. Um, I don't know. I, I, I like the idea of, like, whip out the cylinder, dump them all. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slam it back. Pardon you. Alright, so I think we have to... Yep, gotta grab one thing here, then head towards the middle to do some cleaning. Some spring cleaning. <laughs> Thank you, throw. That is exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to hop it up right in front of me, so I can get... Oh, caught it with my left hand. Nope, that's my backpack. Alright. Anybody want to shoot me? No, are we good? Okay, cool. Then I will go ahead and swap out my gear. This thing seems pretty big. Yeah. Scoot on around it. Okay, it should be right there. Oh no. Oh, I got one right there. I haven't seen one over here before, I don't think. Ow. 
Ouch. Being shot from somewhere. Oh shit. Really? That range with like a sh shotgun, my guy? Fuck off. Can I lift that? From where, my guy? Okay. We carry these for a reason. There you are, you motherfucker. Really? God damn it. Well... <laughs> <laughs> that guy sucked so much. Am I still being sh Where? Okay, fuck it. Let's just get the thing get out of here real quick. That way I'm- Okay, it's on my left. I'm trying to just like bob and weave so he couldn't hit me, but that didn't really work much, did it? He's fun too. You get some good view at Castle later if you haven't been there. Got it. Never been <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm lucky they were just two shotgun guys and not like, you know, dedicated snipers or else my ass would have been grass. But, <laughs> I mean, come on, really? <laughs> right here? I wonder how badly that fuck up my armor. Oh, we're fine. It, it was just like fucking. Just some buckshot. I shrugged it off. Right, just bumped that up enough to where we're a little bit better off. Let's jump down. <sighs> yeah, just little, little love shots, really. Now I am out of flares though, so that kind of sucks, but I'll make do- oh, hell yeah. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and load one extra mag here, ready to go. Okay, so our enemy should be in the distance there, so... Get closer over here. Should be able to. Oh, there we go. I got one guy right there. Can I pick him out from the grass, though? Yes, I can. Hell yeah. That's what you like to see.
that's a rough shot to make. Can't like climb this, can I? No. Unfortunate. shot to make in it. Oh, he sees me. How he sees me, I'm going to be completely honest. I have no fucking clue. sight on this guy. There he is. Shit! Just hit my fucking gun. Good for him. I'm glad he has a muzzle suppressor. Okay, smoke grenades are pretty damn good. Uh, I will not ever try and uh, undervalue them again. Make it daytime or uh, sunrise at least. So we can see a little bit better. Still got some more things we gotta kill over here though. Question is where? Oh, we got. What the fuck? Where? standing there, will ya? You wanna starve in the winter? No? Then help me plant these. Yeah, yeah, on my way. Let's go over here. shots
It's a bit more of a mag dump than I needed to do, but I was a little concerned there. Well, what might be in this crate, though? <gasps> ah, very good. So we should be able to snipe the guys from up here. Alright. Let's see here. So we were taking bullets from over in this area. Was that the guy that shot us? You're out in the open, buddy. Bode well for you. Well, if I fucking whiff my shot, it probably bodes pretty well then for you, isn't it? Still more. I feel like we were taking shots from something else though over there. It wasn't so thick in here. Oh. Maybe that spawns the last thing we gotta get. That's a seeker, I think. I'm fine with that. Alright, little guy, come on. Four. Or you'll just jump on the knife. That works too. Love it when that happens. Okay, how many more do you guys gotta kill? Oh, well, that's my Spetsnaz knife gone. You. I want to fight you right here. You too. Is that it? Are we uh, chilling now? Nope. Still more around here. Question is where? Gnarly, bro, gnarly. Alright. I'm only seeing you nearby, so... I guess let's just engage in combat, shall we, friend? Do the do -si do Come on. 
Don't let me come all the way out here to you, dude. Do you even see me? Alright, I'll just kill you from range then. Still more, huh? I feel like these missions are borked. Ouch. From why? I don't even see where the guy is. Then again, my fucking vision's being obscured so hard. Did I drop the damn thing? Oh, I put it on my fucking chest. I was like, I'm hearing the beeping. Yeah, I don't see what I'm supposed to kill here. Oh, fucking. That sounds pretty damn good right now. I am a little peckish myself. Though I probably won't be able to get myself like a steak sandwich after the stream. There's a stomper dude near me. Alright, well. I mean, I've killed everything within this general area other than going up there and killing what's up there, but. Unfortunately, uh, the quest does not recognize that as having killed five monsters. So, not too sure. Where? From where? From where? From where? From over there, probably. I will go this way. Yeah. It's kind of annoying that they can wander off like that, because, like, I've killed... Like, if I take a look at the map... Not the map. The map. I've probably killed everything within this radius right here. So... So zero to five until you kill him. Okay, where is this guy? Maybe. Hold up. Let's get some verticality here. Maybe I can get up high and spot him. Cause I can hear him shooting. I can certainly hear him shooting. All right. Do I have to worry about anything up here? No. Looks like we're good up here. All right. Let's just scan with our eyes real quick. This is a pretty good spot here. Looking for any kind of movement. Just run around and slaughter until I get it. Yeah. Uh, I guess fuck it, I'll go up there and check real quick. Um, we will need to use a med injector though in that case. We're a little fucked up. Alright. Inwards we go. You couldn't perchance be the guy I'm looking for, could you? Nope. Onwards. Until we find them all. Oh shit. I had a jam. Gonna have to clean this up when we get back. Oh yeah, 
Oops, but someone's knife is gone. Means we just gotta do that to you. Someone's got my number over there. I wonder how close I can get to this guy before he realizes I'm right behind him. Smile for the camera. Not over my shoulder, that's not a like pistol. Jamming is just annoying games like Escape from Tarkov and Scum, but I like uh, in VR I love it. Yeah, no, in VR it's pretty fun. But I, th I think part of the VR thing is just like, you can see it and you're like, oh shit! Unjam that right now! Whereas in a game it's like, oh it's jammed, press button. And just wait for it to play out. It feels like you have a little more agency if something jams. Was that sound? Where even are you? If I find him, he is so fucking dead. Wait a minute, can I scale this? Uh, only partially. Aha! Truly, this was the intended way to find him. <laughs> okay, let's go up here and kill this guy. And then maybe try and find uh, our American sniper. One hand shot. That feels so nice. Without having to pump the damn thing, you can just one hand this go. I'm gonna probably kill you with this and then. I have to kill everybody else with the shotgun. If I get lucky and this guy goes down in one bullet, I won't need to. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I could, uh... This is gonna go terribly, I can already feel it. That was a little awkward. Just sticking out his fucking leg. It's like, dude, this hurts so bad. I've also learned very much to appreciate smoke grenades after the dude who was shooting at me when I went and hid in some- There you are, you little bastard. Hold still and this will be quick. Three more shots. Now would that happen to have been the last guy? That was. That was him. He was the one. Fuck you. You reed hiding piece of shit. Well, I guess since we're here, we'll go ahead and get the artifacts here and then we'll head back and wrap up. Gentlemen, please. Let's be civil. Oof, what a 
fuck did you come from? Oh man, that would've been cool if I could've caught that. for me what the fuck oh I hate it when that shit happens <laughs> God damn. Fuckers. Um, gun? That worked. Okay, I think that's above me. Above us in there. Alright. We'll do this the fun way. Alright. Let's get back home before we uh, die. I don't want to use another med injector. Kind of just want to get back home and uh, let the uh, medi doc heal me. Way more cost effective. Uh, but I need to be. Uh, Good at not dying. It's kind of pivotal at this point. So let's go ahead and get this out and be ready to uh, check my surroundings as needed. Oh, do I bother? Yeah, I bother. Don't microwave me. Uh, it's microwaving me. Shit. Don't go into that. I'm dead. 
I hate that one. I can never predict where it's gonna put the goddamn projectiles. I risked my life for his steps. I can't believe this shit. I mean, I can. Like, really can is the thing. Like this. How the fuck do I get out of here? <sighs> eh, that's a little too risky. Let's just pull back this way. Maybe we can find a uh, better way out. Donk that off the tree. Nice throw. Huh. How big is this? Oh, that big. Where did you come from, you little bastard? You made no noise! Fuck! I'm fine. It's fine. How far back am I? Not a word. Will be said. I will get my stuff and I will leave. Oh yeah, let's not get blasted this time. Let's go uh, all the way back around. Is Big Boy up here still? Invisible Man? No. Good. Alright, I don't want you following me, so we're just gonna take care of that real quick, like. I have no idea where that fucking crawler even came from. I'm going far left this time. We've generally cleared this area, so I think I'm good to go this way. I'm not fucking going for that steps. That's like a hundred dollars. It was not worth my life. Oh, god damn it! I'm right here again. Okay, this way. Yeah, this is fine. I think. How big are you? I will go this way. Well, I'll be damned, it worked. Uh, we have to bang it a little further right here so we don't touch the death weed. That's a death pit. We'll not be walking through that. Instead, we will take a nice detour. And then we'll go up that way. And probably have to kill, like, uh, two or three people. Never had a big boy anywhere but factory or the zone before the castle. Yeah, that's the only places that I've seen, like, two of those stomper guys. Like, the very first time I walked into Pobeda, it was just doom, doom, doom. Like, um... What's all that about? And then Cold Cause has the fucking BTR, which likes to, uh, fuck with you. I 
Like, the amount of times the BTR has killed me by not even shooting at me, but just, like, shining a spotlight, and it's like, Hey guys, go check that out. There's a... Really? Really, my guy? Fuck you. You too? There's three of you! Alright, come on. I, I just can't be bothered to use something else. I mean, I I'm out of M9 ammo anyway, so... I've only ever died to the Stomper Man guy. Though, he one-shot me the first time I was there. <laughs> PTR is kind of trash. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I died. <laughs> I think I've died to the Stomper dude like once. It's either once or twice, and it's because like I was fighting something else, and I had given up hope. And I'm like, take me, big man. Crush me. I really cannot be bothered to keep this life going. Let's go ahead and do just a mass, uh, prepare for some stuff real quick, while we sell. We'll prepare the gun back at, uh, the shop. Alright, tons of shit to sell. Should be good. Okay. 3,600. Let me go ahead and get the laser pointer. Bye. Thank you. And come over here. Upgrade the shotgun. already got the upgrade that I needed for it. Bitchin'. Slam that on there. And now, <laughs> hell yeah, got a lightsaber. Uh, that's right. And make a delivery. You're welcome. Coolio. I wish I was just oblivious to what it was and it was close. Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> I kind of put two and two together the first time I saw it, and I was like, it's making a lot of force there. I'm gonna stay away from you. And, like, the area I was in, it kept, like, prowling through it as I was fighting things. I'm like, okay, can we... Can we give my... Give me some, like, space here. You're really freaking me out, my guy. Alright. M9 cleaning time. Not the mag. The gun, please. Why are you... There we go. <laughs> I don't know why I was saying, You want to clean the mag? No, no I don't. I want to clean my fucking gun, please. I was really dumping mags with this thing. No wonder it got dirty. One more. Good to go. Oh, it actually went into my hip. I did not think it would. Oh, great. We need another big box of M9. Actually, let's put that there real quick. I mean, I 
could just buy a big box of that. Nah, we'll just stick to the FMJ. <laughs> It has its purpose, and we make sure it is, uh, is met, is sustained, and that's with these bad boys. Plus, even an endgame is stingy fuck, so it's kind of hard for me to justify it. I did full edge, you didn't? I? Yes. Play a bouncing game while I load this. I don't I don't think that's supposed to Okay. Sure. I'm not gonna ask questions. Also, you just have some uh, pistol unless I loot AP. Well, the physics slingshot. The <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you, it takes a lot to not accidentally destroy this whole setup right here. Like, there's so many times where I'm like, okay, let's just be very careful, and it looks like I'm about to just skyrocket. I, usually, at least one box goes flying if I'm not careful. Go in. Come on. an empty slug box. Nope. All the slug boxes are full. Good. Well, not all of them. One of my hip isn't. So let's load that real quick. I try to get used to sucking things into my hand because they don't hit other stuff if I do. I always forget and do my nearby stack. Yeah. It's, yeah, definitely easier if you suck it. Like, if it's stacked nicely like this, you can actually just walk up and pick it up and it won't fuck things up. But if it's like this and I'm like, oh, I'm trying to grab this one and I lean a little too far and I grab this one, that box is gone. No longer going to see it ever again. I might as well just go ahead and accept that. Alright. Well, that thing was not dirty at all, was it? And then, how about you? Do you need a little bit of a cleaning? Just a little bit. Not too much, though. Alright. Well, I think that ought to do it. I think. Yeah, we'll pick up. A I'm sorry. You want you want to pay me five hundred sixty dollars to go to Petrosh Castle? Ah, oh, well, I guess it's out front. That's not too bad. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, yeah, let's go up and repair our armor, get a heal, and then we'll probably end stream there. I'm gonna need to slip that on so that I can actually interact with the whole menu here. There we go. Throw that in. And let's also kind of unmuck our uh, gas mask. Last thing we need is for that to fail us in an anomaly and then just go. <coughs> I'm dying. 
Well, that repairs will repair our body. Where's that leave us at? 1500. Almost 1600. Alright, there we go. Alright. Oh shit, I forgot I have a bunch of these little bullets. Alright, we're not done yet, damn it. I gotta fucking organize shit. Please. Okay, little bullets, come here. Oh yeah, I didn't have a spats in those. That's good. Well, these all look to be of similar type ammo. Uh, yeah, okay. I was about to say, do I not have a box for these? Alright. Let's make sure. Do one over real quick. I guess I could just leave this here. Doesn't hurt. Um, let's grab a can of food. Grab the beef ration. Crack it open. And there we go. We should be good to go for next stream. After I grab... The Forbidden Flare. There we go. I'll grab another one up from back here. Just for those nighttime ops when we really need some vision. Okay. Now we're all good. 100%. So that's going to do it for today's stream. We went for, what, four, almost four and a half hours? A little longer than I was planning, but I did want to try out the DVEL and uh, the spaz. I will say this thing fucks. Uh, the ability to just bang with one hand and not have to like desperately just try and pump it to get the next one out, super good. DVL. I don't know if it's just a me being more careful with my shots, but I feel like it's more accurate. <laughs> like I'm actually hitting shit more than with the tiger. And it kills pretty good, so that's nice. Uh, yeah, I think next stream we're probably going to be able to finish the, uh, top priority missions. So we're going to be going to Petrosh Castle. We'll do the, uh, miscellaneous missions we have to kind of, like, hopefully unlock top priority. And we'll go to Petrosh Castle right out front. Maybe we'll even go a little bit in to kind of see what we're going to be dealing with when it actually asks us to go in-in. But, we'll see. Uh, it, next stream will be Thursday, 10.30 p.m. EST Roundabouts. Give or take, like, 30 minutes, uh, you know, sometimes I might get a little lazy or might be a little busy and I need to postpone stream, but, you know, 10.30 is usually when I try and start it, so. Yeah, until then, everybody who's here, thank you for sticking around. Really good chatting with you through uh, EMAW. Uh, need to stretch just a minute. Uh, okay. Yeah, really good chatting. Hope to see you at the next stream. Until then, have a good rest of your day, night, evening, whatever time it is for you. And take care. Uh, hold up a sec. I gotta put you over here. Wait. Hold up. Maybe we can... There we go. Alright. Now we'll set you right here. I think. Let me make sure I can set my headset down here and not, like, fucking freak out. Okay, yeah. You could just stick with the teddy bear, the glass, or the uh, camera, and uh...